what is going on fellas debit credit nation once again brings to you another sap fury tutorial video so today we are going to talk about fi accounts payable in fury so as you know financial accounting has quite a few branches like general ledger accounting accounts receivable accounts payable bank accounting then asset accounting so accounts payable is one of the branch so today we are going to talk about accounts payable so for accounts payable i need to create a vendor so for that i'm going to use the app manage business partner master data click on it now once the app loads you can click on go button to see what are the business partner created in this environment so we have 3900 business partners created in this environment so i'm going to create a fresh data for our accounts payable training so the business partner i'm going to create is a person is not an organization so click on person then you'll get a pop-up so here you need to mention the role that you're creating this business partner for so if you want to see what are the roles we have sap provides us these many roles so since my role is a business partner vendor technical name is fl vn double zero search with this name with this role you'll get the vendor so select the vendor so now enter the master data details so first name say rick flair and language is english then click on i think i have um, yeah then click on ok button it's not creating the business partner it is loading the details that i have entered in the screen so this is a business partner so this is the role flvn00 uh, so now i'm going to save this business partner so i click on save button now if there is any error sap is going to prompt us and i'm going to make the changes accordingly so master data save so sap has given us a number range 32 all 0 130 now i need to do a couple of changes here as well click on edit button then under the role i need to assign my company code so get inside the role and click on company codes and here click on the create button so that i can create the company code data so I enter my company code which is 6000 and I need a reconciliation account so trade payable payment method I'm going to use because as a part of accounts payable I'm going to show you payment run as well which is traditionally used by F110 in GUI so I'm going to use W which is where and looks good so I'm going to click on apply one more thing since i'm going to execute payment run which is the direct debit i also need to maintain the bank details in absence of any bank details the direct debit will not work so click on bank details then click on create let me add an id bank country us account number say randomly added an account number select a bank key say this one and that's pretty much it click on apply then i'm going to save it so the first step is done i have just created the business partner now i'm going to book an invoice for this business partner so for that click on the tile create incoming invoices this is fb60 so the UI remains almost the same. Let me add a search term to my business partner because I want to identify my business partner. Click on edit. And here I would like to call RIC. Okay, save. So my search term is RIC. So here you need to search for the vendor. Click on the F for help. Then enter your company code which is 6000 click on find button so Rick this is my vendor now let me post an invoice to this vendor suppose I post a hundred dollar invoice I call it inf 100 
this is my offsetting GL account now I need to add a cost center as well this is a cost center looks good now I'm going to save it click on post button from below so my invoice is posted now I want to see the account balance of this vendor which is equivalent to FBL 1N so open another tab now Fiery has this advantage that classic GUI has only six screen at a time so here you can open as many tiles as you can there is no restriction so there is one tile call manage supplier line items okay search so this screen is similar to FBL 1N so I want to see all open items for all company code for this date range click on go button so it will show all open items that is FBL 1N executed in blank so I see 25 line items so now I want to see the items for my company code only I specify the filter of my company code then I click on go button so my company code has these 12 line items but again I want to specify it to my the business partner that I just created which is uh, Rick Flair so this is the supplier so I can select and here I can put a filter okay so only the items of my vendor will be shown here so I see I have open item it's uh, it's red that means it is not clear if I open the journal entry now this is a vendor line item that it will open up for the first time once I click it from the FBL one end screen click on this back to journal entry it will show you the entire document so remember in GUI you, are, you need to click on the overview button to see the entire document so the entry is office supplies debit and trade payables credit if I go to my vendor line item which is the first one just get inside and I can see that the due date is 13.09.22 that means today is 13.09 so it is not yet due tomorrow it will become overdue so till today it will be shown as yellow from tomorrow it will be shown as red that's why once you go back to your main screen this is shown as due not overdue and this red means it has not been cleared now let me make couple of payment first payment I'm going to make is manual payment and after that I'm going to show you F110 in Fury so first payment I'm going to make so I'm going to my home screen so this is an outgoing payment click on post outgoing payment tab now here my company code is already populated I'm just entering my uh, document at which is in Fury it is called journal entry date and the GL account I'm going to use a cash GL account say I'm going to use cash desk and suppose out of 100 I'm going to pay say $40 now if you if I scroll down I see nothing no item available no item found for clearing so I need to enter my supplier or my vendor which is this one Rick now still it is blank now once I click on show item it will show the all the open items so click on show items so it has only one open item so this hundred dollar will be shown so I'm going to click on clear and I'm going to allocate forty dollar now this difference becomes green now click on post so document has been posted click on display it will show you the payment document so this is my journal entry type which is uh, nothing but document type and if I go back to my manage supplier line item which is here and I click on go button let me put a filter okay let me click on go button first and I'll put a filter on my supplier specifically click on this filter enter your business partner here so I see I have two open items this is the KZ which is a payment KR is the invoice and KZ is the payment it has not cleared each other so now my net payable is $60 so this amount I'm going to pay using F110 from Fury so for that there is one app called 
मैनेज ऑटोमेटिक पेमेंट ओपन दैट ऐप नाउ दिस ऐप इज द फ्योरी वर्शन ऑफ एफ वन वन जीरो नाउ बिफोर आई एग्जीक्यूट लेट मी टेल यू आई हैव एन कन्फिगर द पेमेंट मीडियम येट बिकॉज दैट वुड रिक्वायर डेवलपमेंट बट आई कैन शो यू द पेमेंट पार्ट इन एस एपी क्लिक ऑन गो बटन सो आई कैन सी वन पेमेंट हैज बीन स्केड एंड पेमेंट हैज बीन पोस्टेड एज वेल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी वट आर द पेमेंट्स पोस्टेड थ्रू आउट द मंथ सो ऑल दिस फीचर्स आर अवेलेबल हियर सो सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू सी दिस मंथ वट आर द पेमेंट्स आर पोस्टेड सो सिलेक्ट दिस मंथ एंड क्लिक ऑन गो सो आई सी फोर फोर आइटम्स वेर प्रोपोज एंड ओनली थ्री आर पेड ओके सो आई कैन कॉपी फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ दिस लाइन आइटम्स सो आई कैन सिलेक्ट एंड आई कैन क्लिक ऑन कॉपी बटन आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन दिस प्लस बटन दैट मीन्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए फ्रेश सो क्लिक ऑन दिस एड बटन देन एंटर द डेट एंड एंटर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन सो माई आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज सिक्स थाउजेंड क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट बटन सो हियर यूनिट टू एंटर योर कंपनी कोड विच इज सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड the vendor that i am going to pay so click on go button let me add my search term here ric go so this is the vendor select the vendor and so this is docs entered up to and the next payment date we have to maintain that is tomorrow state and i have the payment method which is w this one click on okay and then add this additional log so this means that if the payment gets failed system will tell us what went wrong so that's it now click on save and click on schedule and click on proposal so click on this schedule this will schedule the payment run proposal so now it says proposal running now click on go to refresh this page proposal created now once proposal is created you can bring the log button from here so click on uh, this log and this log will tell us if everything is fine or not so i think payment method w is permitted so uh, this 60 dollar it has picked up so i think there is no issue also if there is any issue you can click on this revise button click on this arrow and if there is an exception the exception will appear here in this tab and it will say what went wrong like payment method could not be determined or vendor has a debit item whatever the error can be it will be explained in the exception field now i don't have any exception so i am going to going back to my payment so this 60 dollar is rightfully picked up so come back i have already scheduled the proposal now i am going to schedule the payment so select it then click on schedule and schedule payment now say payment has been scheduled payment running click on go to refresh this page now it says payment posted now get inside click on this arrow and this will show you the payment so this is my payment document and if you want to see what what are the items that this payment has cleared click on this arrow button so it will tell us that it has cleared the 40 and 100 now if i come back and i want to see my payment document click on this document number here and click on manage journal entries so here's my entry that is westpac outgoing this is my bank account bank account credit and vendor debit so vendor debit and bank account credit now if i go back to my manage supplier line item and click on go i should not have any red item everything should be cleared so click on go so i see clearing has done so all are green all these two that is the 100 dollar and 40 dollar are cleared by the zp that is my payment document which is the clearing entry so that is all about the accounts payable cycle i did not show you the procure to pay cycle here i just posted the invoice from fi and paid it and before i wrap up i want to show you the back end config of payment run that is f110 in fico so since it's a hybrid cloud i have to configure it from the gui now let me open gui for this one so this is the gui now i will have to go to fbzp all the config are available under fbzp get inside fbzp first start with your house bank 
so my house bank is 6000 this is my house bank and next i'm going to my bank account so this is the gl account i am using 114001 this is the gl account for my house bank so first i configured this now since it is s4 in s4 this page is maintainable in fury only you cannot maintain in gui previously in ecc we could have maintained it now if you click on maintain bank account it will open fury so first we configure this screen now come back go back to fbzp screen Now your config starts from here payment method in country get inside and I have used the payment method W so country is US payment method is W get inside so I have created this payment method you can copy it from other payment method as well the existing ones whichever are existing in US come US country so it is an outgoing payment uh, it's a bank transfer and uh, here street PO box and bank details are necessary and the payment will be posted using the ZP document type clearing document type will be ZV then come back next config is payment method in company code get inside my company code is 6000 and payment method is W so this is the one so here you have to mention your minimum amount and maximum amount and whether you want to pay foreign business partner uh, whether you want to pay say you are in you are located in US can you pay a GBP invoice can you pay a Canadian dollar invoice or if the customer vendor is located abroad then also you can pay or not so this you need to configure you need to check then the main thing is the bank determination get inside the bank determination so choose your company code from here and first you have to enter the ranking order so I have uh, these five payment method so I all of them I have given rank one but if you want to use multiple payment method for uh, single currency then you can add rank to it like rank one for USD rank two for GBP like that next get inside the bank account so here so my house bank 6001 will be used with payment method W for all currency blank means all currency and account ID will be HB01 and this is my bank sub account so if I uh, go back to my fury tile which is this one see my payment document has picked up this bank account so this is the bank account 114001 so this bank account I assign here bank sub account bank sub account means later when the electronic bank statement will be processed I will transfer this payment from this clearing account that is 11001 to 11000 if you want to completely understand the electronic bank statement procedure I have created one dedicated tutorial video for electronic bank statement and that's it so this is a config for the payment run that is F110 if you like this video then you can subscribe to my channel debit credit nation and press the bell icon so that none of the tutorials are missed out by you you can also share our videos with your friends for your config activity so we'll wind up here we'll meet again next time with another sap tutorial video thank you so much